False Positive is an American horror film released in the year 2021. The plot of the film follows a copywriter, Lucy, and her reconstructive surgeon husband, Adrian, who are toiled with the burning desire to have a baby. Adrian refers Lucy to a leading fertility doctor, John Hindle. Lucy immediately gets pregnant, but soon realizes that the doctor is shady and is hiding something. The film starts with a dejected couple, Lucy and Adrian, who are struggling to conceive a baby. Lucy feels hopeless after experiencing multiple negative results on the pregnancy test kits. When Adrian suggests seeing a fertility specialist, Lucy hesitates as she thinks she must conceive naturally. After much insistence, Lucy finally agrees to seek out Adrian's former teacher and a top fertility doctor to see if they could get pregnant. In the heart of Manhattan, a gorgeous building exists where Dr. John Hindle runs his very own fertility center by the name Hindle Women's Center. Upon entering the clinic, Lucy and Adrian meet John's head nurse, Dawn, who politely welcomes them. After filling out the paperless paperwork, Lucy goes in for an initial basic checkup. After the checkup, Dr. John arrives and greets the couple. Lucy explains that she and Adrian have been trying to conceive for two years. She also mentions that she's been taking a healthy diet, exercising, and avoiding alcohol. John promises to help her conceive with the best possible technique. While observing Lucy's inner vitals, he talks about how brilliant and generous of a student Adrian was and how he enjoyed teaching him medicine. Adrian is flattered but remains humble. After the observation, John tells Lucy that her inner organs are perfect and that she may conceive after insemination. He shows her the photographs of happy mothers who successfully had babies after his treatment. It turns out that John has invented a technique of his own called in utero hindle fertilization, which is a mix of both IVF and IUI, and he wishes to use it on Lucy, expecting her to market the method through her brilliant marketing expertise. The following day at the office where Lucy works, her colleague Greg informs her that their boss has been considering making Lucy lead on an important project. Lucy jumps with excitement at the news and thanks Greg for recommending her to the boss. Meanwhile, Adrian prepares his sperm for the fertility process. Later, Lucy is called over at the fertility clinic and inseminated with the sperms using the special method John invented. Soon enough, Lucy feels symptoms of pregnancy in the office and finds out that she's pregnant. Excited, the couple starts deciding baby names. Lucy insists on using the name Wendy if they have a baby girl, and Adrian suggests naming the boy Adrian Jr. The next day, Lucy informs Greg about her pregnancy. Her other two colleagues, Brian and Mahal, also find out about the news and congratulate Lucy. When Lucy expresses concern about her important project with Wythe, her colleagues decide to use her pregnancy as leverage for Wythe to hire them for his project. She feels really uncomfortable at her colleagues' thinking, but lets it go. Later, she goes in for an ultrasound only to discover that she's pregnant with triplets, male twins, and a female. John suggests a selective reduction to ensure a healthy pregnancy and successful birth, which means either the twins or the daughter should be aborted. However, he advises on keeping the boys as they are strong enough compared to the girl. At night, the couple goes to dinner to relax their minds and make a decision. Adrian suggests going with the doctor's advice and also because there are not many chances for them to get pregnant again. However, Lucy wants to have a girl as she thinks having two babies at a time will be a lot and it will also impact her work life. When Adrian expresses reluctance about her decision, Lucy explains that she always envisioned having a girl. Soon, Adrian agrees with Lucy's decision and decides to have a baby girl. He also informs Lucy that John wants her to market his new fertility technique. Lucy agrees to write a story or speech talking about John's magic technique. Later, seeing Lucy worried about the reduction procedure, Adrian suggests she join a mommy group to make friends who are also pregnant. Following his advice, Lucy joins a group of expecting mothers who are enthralled to know that Lucy got pregnant through the leading fertility doctor, John. Before the reduction, Lucy discovers Grace Singleton, a spiritual American-African midwife on a magazine cover. Just then, John calls her in for the procedure. During the reduction, Lucy loses consciousness just while hearing Adrian and John talk about her having a fairy tale ending. She then has a nightmare about her daughter fading out in blood. Scared, she wakes up and finds Adrian and John entering the room. When she asks John about the reduced twins, John tells her that the reduced fetuses attach to the placenta and get extracted with the afterbirth without affecting the baby. On their way home, Lucy tells Adrian that she heard him and John talk about weird things during the procedure, but Adrian demisses her concerns, 
saying that she might be dreaming. Soon after, Lucy starts showing up. She experiences excessive bleeding from her uterus. Adrian rushes her to John, who tells them that there is nothing to worry about as Lucy's uterus is making room so it's stretching and bleeding. Strangely, he condemns Lucy and Adrian from googling any information as it will only cause confusion. Lucy feels suspicious, and while leaving the doctor's office, she stares at the secret room labeled The Lab. Later, Lucy keeps looking at the magazine cover where she read about Grace. She also starts excelling at work and presents a mind-blowing pitch to Wythe, receiving multiple compliments. As a result, she gets to lead the Wythe account. Ecstatic, she starts thinking that her life is on track and she has everything a woman dreams of and aspires to be. She also befriends Corgan from the group, who got pregnant through IVF. Corgan talks to Lucy about how she's facing complications with her pregnancy and is recommended to bed rest. Later at a conference, Adrian presents John with an award by talking about how he fundamentally changed the field of fertility. After Adrian's speech, John gives a thank you speech in which he talks about the pleasure he feels to be able to give the happiness of a child to a desperate woman. At night, while watching Grace's video, Lucy suddenly hears something. She gets out of bed to check and discovers a safe in Adrian's office. The following day, she meets Corgan who tells her that she took a second opinion and has a good chance of having a healthy baby. Lucy is happy about the news, but suspicious about her own unborn baby. She shares with Corgan that she's seeing wild dreams about her baby and thinks that John did something to her unborn daughter of which Adrian is aware. Corgan consoles her by explaining that motherhood is not easy and that she must be strong. Later, at night, Lucy watches Grace's video in which Grace talks about how doctors nowadays claim that women's bodies are at high risk and in their control, whereas Grace thinks that women are gifted with the highest potential purpose for humankind. She explains that she became a midwife because she wanted women to connect with their bodies and feel the spiritual current that flows through them. She condemns modern gynecology as it stands on the shoulders of men and deprives women of the experience of the richness of natural birth in all its messy, complex, and awesome entirety. Suddenly, Lucy feels so deeply connected to Grace that she starts realizing her feelings by screaming, feeling free and empowered. The next day at work, Dawn shows up out of nowhere, asking Lucy to return the magazine she borrowed from John's office. Lucy feels strange and becomes certain that something is wrong. She goes to see John, who assures her that the baby is absolutely fine. Lucy returns the magazine and apologizes for keeping it for so long. John also apologizes for Dawn's behavior and explains that she holds him very close to her heart and feels proud of his success. Before leaving the office, Lucy again stares at the lab and feels something strange is going on behind the doors. Later at work, Greg informs Lucy that she's losing momentum on the Wythe account and that it's being handed over to Brian. Heartbroken, she goes to see Adrian and tells him that she's being taken out of the project that she landed. When she tells Adrian that she got him food, Adrian is perplexed as she got him lunch moments ago. Bewildered, they go to see John who tells him that Lucy is suffering from a prepartum depression and prescribes her medication. Dawn suggests Lucy enjoy her pregnancy journey to feel better and happy. Lucy then goes to see Grace and is excited to see her in person. Grace comforts Lucy with her words and as a result, Lucy starts opening up to her, talking about how she wishes that her unborn daughter gives her a missing piece of the puzzle that she lost with the death of her mother. At night, Lucy has a dream where she sees John and Adrian having sex. Suspicious, she wakes up and opens Adrian's safe only to find a file on her that has pictures proving that she is being followed. Apprehensive, Lucy shows the file to Corgan, explaining to her that the file says that she's being used as part of a study that she didn't sign up for. Corgan becomes confused and decides to show the file to her lawyer husband to get a lawyer's perspective on Lucy's rights. Until then, she suggests Lucy behave normally until she gathers more information. Later, while taking a bath, Lucy visions nearly drowning in a bath full of bloody water. Adrian helps her out of the bathtub and gives her the medication that John prescribed her. Lucy pretends to take the medicine in front of him but spits it out after he leaves. The next morning, Lucy tells Adrian that she's quitting her job and planning to not take Dr. John's services as he gives her bad vibes and she doesn't feel safe with him. Adrian gets mad and fears that John will be disappointed by him but Lucy does not care. She ignores Adrian's wish to continue with John and holds a baby shower where she invites Corgan. During the baby shower, Corgan gifts her a first edition copy of Peter Pan that Lucy's mother read to her. Strangely, Lucy visions seeing Peter Pan's shadow morph into an expanding bloodstain on the book cover. Just then, 
Lucy realizes that Corgan knows her real name, although she never told her that. When she asks Corgan about it, Corgan laughs it out, blaming her that she's thinking from her mommy's brain. After Lucy storms out, Corgan goes to check on her and admits that she started consulting Dr. John through Adrian's help. Lucy feels betrayed after finding out that Corgan gave the files back to Adrian, the only proof she had. When Corgan tells her that Adrian denies having a safe in his office, Lucy freaks out and starts experiencing contractions. Adrian rushes her to Grace for delivery. While giving birth, Grace tells Lucy that she gave birth to a baby boy and is growing again. Perplexed to see the excessive bleeding, Grace insists they go to a hospital immediately to deliver the second baby. Adrian takes Lucy to John, who delivers the second baby. After the delivery, John takes Lucy's removed placenta and reduced female fetus and packs it in a plastic bag. Lucy is shocked and unable to sink in what just happened and Adrian convinces her to bond with the twins. After getting discharged, Lucy goes to see Grace to vent her emotions but realizes that the image of her as a magical midwife goddess was not real. Seeing Lucy overwhelmed and vulnerable, Grace tells her that it's her job to solve her own problem. Cynical, she goes to John's clinic to confront him about reducing the wrong baby. Dawn takes her to a room and suggests she be grateful for having two healthy babies and a wonderful husband. She also reveals that Adrian is joining John's clinic and will soon join hands with John in his gynecological practice. Suspicious, Lucy sneaks into John's lab only to find a bag containing her removed placenta and reduced female fetus. Hysterical, Lucy bursts into tears seeing the baby she desired to have. Just then, John enters the lab and reveals the unsettling truth that he uses his own sperm to inseminate all his female patients and did the same to Lucy. According to him, there's so much terror in the world and he believes that his genes are the best. He shows Lucy a refrigerator full of his sperm vials through which he plans to extend his bloodline via male births. Fearful that Lucy might leak his secret, he attempts to kill her by drugging her with an injection. However, Lucy kicks him and slams a mirror on his head. She then ties him to a chair to torture him. When Dawn tries to interject, Lucy gags her with a medical instrument and then injects her with a drug. She then gets on top of John and punches him to a pulp. To further torture him, she destroys the refrigerator containing his sperm vials and leaves the room with the reduced fetus. Seeing her covered in blood, the patients in the waiting area freak out. Lucy then arrives home and visions herself releasing the twins to float out the window. Adrian arrives home and is surprised to see her face covered in blood. When Lucy asks him if he knew that they were having twins, he tries to make her understand that he thought that the deal with John would have been good for them both. This infuriates Lucy and she hands the twins to him, furiously asking him to leave. The film ends with Lucy picking up the female fetus and trying to breastfeed it. Suddenly, she starts hallucinating that the fetus is latching on to her. This movie has a rating of 4.7 on IMDb. I hope you all liked this video. If yes, then make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel for more movie recaps.